Energy is the name of the game here in Billings this week as the Magic City hosts the Montana Energy Summit 2018. From discussing the future of coal strip to an update on the Keystone Pipeline to the latest on a proposed coal port in Washington State, this week's Montana Energy Summit offers a snapshot of the various moving parts on the U.S. energy scene. Montana Senator Steve Daines got a jump start hosting that Montana Energy Summit this morning as he led a tour of top U.S. energy officials to Coal Strip. Then the group sat down for a wide-ranging discussion about the issues at hand. With Coal Strip power plants one and two slated for a shutdown in the year 2022, most people are focusing now on Coal Strip's transition away from coal. But Wednesday's discussion zeroed in on the role that coal strip plants three and four will play in the new U.S. energy scene moving forward. The last administration thought that coal was the problem. This new administration believes that coal was part of the solution. What I mean by that is not putting all of our eggs in any one basket, having a diverse portfolio. Neil Chatterjee is one of five members on the Federal Energy Regulatory Commission. He is the first FERC commissioner to set foot in coal strip. Chatterjee believes Coal Strip, like other aging coal-fired power plants in the country, may actually be the key to adding reliability to the world of renewable. And if this plant shuts down because it can't compete in today's marketplace, and we find out down the road that we actually did need this plant for reliability, for resilience, that could be a real problem. The folks in this community make a compelling case about the threat to reliability uh, in the region. If this plant were to shut down, um, we'll have to very carefully examine that. Talon Energy CEO Ralph Alexander, whose company operates the Coal Strip Power Complex, says the issues at play in Coal Strip represent a microcosm of the entire U.S. energy scene. And to me, Coal Strip is, is the poster child for what the nation needs to deal with. A, a plant that's got a, a country that has so much power supply now, with renewable energy being mandated, natural gas, and not enough demand. So you have this imbalance. What do you do? And if you do nothing, you end up with renewables, which might work if the sun stays out like this, wind, which might work if the wind blows, but you lose all ability for diversification, and I don't think that's a smart thing strategically. Just two years ago, Talon announced it would relinquish its role as operator of the coal strip generating complex, but Alexander has different ideas. He wants the company to take a renewed look, and now says they're in for the long haul. So the deal is, look, it's in trouble. It's, we got work to do. Let's do this together. I promise you we'll work it as hard as we can. They're working as hard as we, they can. And we've done a lot in the last year and a half to strengthen Coal Strip. Exactly how Coal Strip's future fits into America's energy puzzle remains a work in progress. But Senator Daines remains convinced it's a bright future. We don't want to have a knee-jerk reaction that's occurred, that Frank, from the last administration. Australia uh, has learned the hard way. Taiwan has learned the hard way. Germany's learned the hard way. Moving too fast in this versus keeping a balanced, common sense kind of approach. Senator Daines will offer his opening remarks at the Montana Energy Summit 2018 beginning at 8 a.m. tomorrow morning. It happens at the Billings Hotel and Convention Center. The opening panel discussion is entitled Trains, Trucks, Ports and Pipelines and it features the chairman of the BNSF Railway and the president of Lighthouse Resources, that's the company proposing a new West Coast coal port in Longview, Washington. Harold Hamm, founder of Continental Resources, is among those offering keynote talks later in the morning, along with Russ Gerling, president of TransCanada, that's the firm behind the Keystone XL pipeline. The panel discussion on the future of Coal Strip will kick off the afternoon sessions starting at 105.